All right, you guys, I do have a Dollar Tree haul for you today, and I also have a list of which Dollar Tree and Family Dollar stores around the country are closing. I'm Jamie, the Crafty DIY Guy. Welcome back to my channel. All right, you guys, so yes, it is true. Dollar Tree and uh, Family Dollar, they're closing a bunch of stores around the country. Dollar Tree announced recently that they're gonna close about 600 of the Family Dollar store locations around the country. And then they also did an announcement that another 370 Family Dollar stores and 30 Dollar Trees will be closing over the next several years once their lease does expire. I do have a partial list of the stores that are going to be affected throughout the country and I'll have them kind of scrolling down here on the bottom. Um, the, good, the good news, I guess, for all of us is that uh, one, Dollar Tree does have a bunch of great stuff in the stores. And I did, this is probably one of my larger hauls because um, they had a ton of stuff. I don't know if they're already pushing stuff out or if they're trying to get rid of stuff at some of the other stores or or what. Um, the good, the second thing is that this closure of these stores only represents about 15% of the entire um, stores that they do have. And um that's a lot of stores. I know that in my neighborhood, um, I probably have one, two, three, four Dollar Tree stores and probably one, two, three, at least three Family Dollar stores that are all within like a 10 minute drive for me. So um, it's going to be interesting. The list, again, is just a partial list and uh, it'll start scrolling here any minute now. Um, so let's let's focus on what I do have because I, I actually do have some really good stuff. Um, I'm just gonna, this is not organized at all. There are things in here that are kind of all over the board. I'm trying to kind of pick through here and at least grab similar things for you guys. Um, so let's just get started. All right, uh, socks. You know me and socks. I'm gonna grab lots and lots of socks. So I do have, uh, let's see, um, believe it or not, I'm kind of switching to some black socks. I'm just kind of going kind of, kind of basic here because, um, I'm finding that that is a lot easier to do laundry. And, uh, I did grab some kind of ankle socks here because summertime is coming. And, uh, same with these, uh, gray ones here. This is a three pack. The other ones were a three pack. All, or the other ones were a two pack. And then, um, the other ones are um, just single pairs. So um, not a bad deal, not a bad deal, right? And then some Oscar Mayer, these were the Wiener Mobile. I had to grab those. And um, that is that. Uh, let's also jump into some really fun home decor. Again, I have like, I have a bunch of bags down here and this isn't even all the bags. And uh, we've got a little furry buddy over here. There he is, hi buddy. That's um, going to be making an appearance over here. Um, there are, um, there's a bunch of stuff in here. But there's just a bunch of stuff. Uh, picture frame. Look at that really cute picture frame. It kind of sits on that metal stand. Look how cute this boy is. Hi, Otis. And um, that's a really cute, like, six by four frame. I really liked how it just kind of floats there with the metal frame kind of centered around it, which was super, super cool. Um... Let's see, what else is there? This is a, um, a flexible stencil that I thought could be really fun for a DIY project. In fact, I'm going to toss it in that bin over there because that's the DIY bin. And um, I've got some, some DIYs. Um, I don't know if this is going to be any good or not. But popcorn flavored marshmallows. And uh, I'm just going to... Oh, they don't smell like popcorn. Hmm. I mean, it's not bad. It's really awkward. <laughs> I put two on my mouth and I didn't mean to do that. So, um, Okay, they're all gone. Um, alcohol, um, these are like stains. They are Resin Studio um, pig, Pigment Ink. 
And um, I was thinking these might be very similar to like alcohol inks. And um, if you've watched my channel before, you've seen that I've been able to take like um, glass vases like this and drip this down the side and it creates a really cool effect. And when you put a candle or something in there, um, they really light up. So I thought I would give that a try with these. I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but um, we'll give it a try and we'll find out. Um, I got some Band-Aids. I got some Band-Aids because I burned my finger really, really bad. And um, I burned it on my glue gun. So uh, that is, um, that is, I bought actually two packages of Band-Aids because this is the flexible one. And then the other ones are the clear ones. And I'm hoping that this flexible one will kind of keep this. It's a, it's a, it's a huge blister that uh, has popped. But anyway, uh, back to the haul. These were really, really cool. And I did buy um, two of these. I just don't know where the second one went. Oh, here it is. But um, if you've got kids that are taking their lunch to work, if you carry your lunch to work, these little ice packs are super cool because you put these in the freezer, they do get nice and frozen, and then you can keep them in your lunch box or in your little, like if you have like a little igloo cooler or a little insulated lunch box, and that's a great way to keep your lunch um, kind of cold all day long. I'm curious if your store has uh, scrolled along the bottom here yet. Um, let me know in the comments. I know that um, my particular stores in Georgia are not listed, um, but I did talk to a store manager today who told me that they are going to be releasing more stores or releasing which stores I guess are gonna be closing. And again, because I have so many just within like a 10 minute radius, I'm honestly expecting some of mine to close as well. Um, I grabbed this little basket because I thought it was super cute or this little purse, I guess. Um, I was thinking that maybe I could make like a fun kind of summer DIY with it. So we will see. We will see. Um, I grabbed this bucket because it's kind of clear and it's kind of glittery. And um, honestly, I was thinking that maybe for a housewarming gift I could maybe put the gift in this especially if I have a closing this summer but um, if I don't I do have a DIY idea for it as well um, I thought these were really cute um, I kind of have an idea for a um, summer themed wreath and um, I thought maybe these could work on there I just don't know how big how those marshmallows <laughs> I don't know how big they're going to get so um, we'll see, we'll see about those. Um, another thing that I thought could be fun. Now this is way too small for me. I, I think anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna guarantee that it probably is. And um, this was something that I thought could be fun for the summertime wreath. This is going to be another summer project that I do have in mind. And um, it's a cute little castle bucket. And uh, what's so great about these is that you can put sand in there, obviously, if you're on the beach. And you can make little sand castles with it. So if you have a beach trip coming up or something, that could be something fun to be able to carry with you to the beach. Um, found that other pair of socks that I knew I had because I bought three of them. And uh, again, those could be really, really easy to take to the beach with you this summer. And um, I think they'd even be pretty easy to pack because you could stuff socks or, you know, underwear or anything like that inside there. This I thought was super, super cute. And um, I tend to go to a lot of communities that are like dog friendly, especially if I'm showing houses and I've done some open houses even there. And um, I wanted to grab this because not only is it a flashlight, but it also holds your little pet baggie so you can pick up your poop afterwards and uh, it comes with some baggies that go right in there and then you pull them out through the bone and then it's also got a flashlight so if you're out and it's got a carabiner on the end there so if you are out walking your dog and you need a little flashlight especially if you're walking your dog in the evening that I thought was super super cool um, I did really like this now this is a craft box and I think this is probably for beading or something um, it's kind of just that. It's got these individual little kind of circular things. There's Otis making another appearance. But what I thought these 
could be really cool for is like maybe you're traveling, right? And uh, I know I've got travel on the brain because I've got a trip coming up. And uh, these could be really fun to put jewelry in. You could put rings in there. You could put earrings in there. Um, you could probably put a necklace in there as long as it wasn't you know, maybe like a small chain or something. Hi, baby boy. And um, he's down here. You can see his tail. <laughs> but uh, because it's so compact, because this really does snap really good there, I thought that could be a perfect kind of jewelry container for traveling for the summer. So definitely grab that. Um, by the way, I am doing fetch rewards again. So um, I've got my Dollar Tree <laughs> receipt here. There's um, there's two receipts in here because um, I did go to Dollar Tree. I went to two different stores. And um, this one was $52. That's what the total was for this one. And if remember, if uh, you're not familiar with fetch rewards, basically you can earn points every time you scan a receipt and then you can redeem those points for gift cards so there is a referral code in the description box down below so check that out and you'll get some points when you scan your very first receipt now um he's so cute oh my gosh another little cute item that i saw at the checkout that was kind of an impulse buy um it's a little fan and what i kind of like about this is this is almost like a, a like it's rubber. So, um, you know, some of those other fans like have the plastic and they, they tend to um, break after a little while. But I thought that this could be really cool. Um, it's clear, so I don't know, you know, how the batteries are gonna look in there per se, but um, it's got a nice long cord on it. And I thought that that could also be something fun for the beach. And since we are talking about the beach, check out this great bag that I grabbed. This also came from Dollar Tree. Now this was in the, um, kind of in the plus section, not kind of, it was in the plus section. Um, it's only $5. How cute is that? It's plain on that side, which I don't really mind. It's got these rope kind of handles and look how huge that is. In fact, a lot of stuff that's in here, I did carry in this bag initially. And, um, the grommets here are pretty good. I would say I'd probably like reinforce these ropes or something, maybe with the, just the knots anyway. But um, great, great beach bag, right? Great canvas bag for five bucks. And um, I have, you know, so many bags, I, I really don't need them. Uh, this little life preserver, uh, life preserver, um, splash ring is uh super cute it's definitely a kid size and um i was thinking about that summer kind of diy idea now anytime i think about summer i think about being hot i don't like to be hot i've already shown you one fan and then i've got this little desktop fan as well now both of these do run on batteries and uh, this is one that i can kind of take anywhere with me and since i do kind of work in this kind of space, not only for crafts and DIYs, but also for real estate stuff. I thought that that could be really kind of cool to have on the desk and be able to um, to use it from time to time. This was something that I hadn't seen before and this was really, really pretty. See how it's kind of got that gold kind of tinge to it and it's just a great votive. And um, they had them in a couple different colors, but I liked how they were kind of ridged like this with the little, um, little raised bubbles and um again keep watching that list down at the bottom here so you can see if one of your stores are affected um i really really hope that my favorite stores are not going to be affected because uh, that will affect me and i don't want that to happen to um any of us really especially the workers and everything i'm hoping that they'll get like transferred to other stores or something um this is a uh set of fairy lights at first i thought they were little mushrooms kind of based on that picture there but they just appear to be regular kind of clear fairy lights they do just say they're led lights um i don't think there's anything on here that says um what color they are, but I'm, I'm gonna assume from that picture that they're probably, you know, that kind of clear or that kind of yellowy color. Um, chalkboard tags. I got chalkboard tags because I am participating in a mystery box challenge coming up and um, I need those chalkboard tags to kind of label some of my stuff that's gonna be in the mystery box challenge. So look for that. Um, 
I think it's at the end of April. I think it's actually on my birthday. And uh, that will be, um, or maybe it's the day after my birthday, but still really, really cool, right? This is a two piece kind of skincare set that I thought I would give a try. Um, it's a cleanser on one side and a mask on the other. I just bought one because I, I don't know how it's gonna work. I'll probably end up loving it and then never be able to find them again, but you know. That happens at Dollar Tree, right? This was something I thought was really cool. I don't, um, I, I'm a nail biter. Sorry, I am. And um, I don't really file my nails a whole lot, but how cute is that? The little lightning bolt. I thought that that was super, super cute. And it does say that it's professional quality. And uh, this is just one unit according to that down there. Yes, you can see my nails. But um, that I just thought was kind of cute. Um, this will probably go in the, I'm a little sniffly by the way because of all the pollen. This will probably end up going in one of the, um, I kind of have a bin that's got like just random like gift basket stuff in there. So that's probably where this will go. This is really, really cute. And um, they had a couple different things like there, but this is a diamond painting set that you can get at Dollar Tree. This particular one is a little cactus keychain. How cute is that? And uh, Bethany actually from over on uh, Bargain Bethany uh, did this and uh, she, uh, I don't know if she liked it, but um, uh, she kind of showed how it was and how to do it. And I thought, okay, if I have, you know, three spare hours, then I can probably do this. But again, I thought for that little gift basket set thing, that could be really cool. Cool, And then, cool, cool. And then they also had um, like paintings and stuff as well. And I think I did grab one of the other paintings also. Um, some cool picture frames are showing up at Dollar Tree and I loved that one. Um, I only found this one though. So I'm hoping that I can find more of these because I think that this frame is really, really modern and looks really, really expensive. And it does hold a five by seven frame, obviously, or a five by seven picture rather. And um, I thought that was really nice for a Dollar Tree frame. And um, these are just, these are just mason jars. I'll just show them to you. But um, I got some mason jars. I noticed that Dollar Tree, I know selling them without the lids. I don't know if that's normal or not, but um, I'm getting these to just kind of put here in the craft room because I have a lot of Sharpies and pens and things. And uh, I'm just gonna put them in there. Hi, buddy. What you doing? Hi, come here. I can't, where did you go? There you are. He's like way back there. Come say hi. Hey, come say hi. There you are. Hi, baby boy. Gonna come out and let the people see you. Um, okay, I grabbed an extra toothbrush because I want to keep a toothbrush in the shower. I know that sounds crazy, but um, I want to keep one in the shower. So when I'm in the shower, if it's in between brushing, I'm going to brush again. So um, that's why I did it. <laughs> and then, uh, there are some fun food related items in this haul today. And um, I've never seen this at Dollar Tree before. Have you guys seen imitation crab meat at Dollar Tree? Um, I'm one of those weird people. I actually really do like imitation crab. And I know the chicken of the sea brand is usually pretty good, pretty dependable. And um, I love like that fake seafood salad that um, like you can get at Subway and stuff or you used to be able to get it at Subway. And it's always made with like this imitation crab meat. So that's why I grabbed it. And it actually has a decent, oh no, it doesn't. It's only got four grams of protein. I was thinking maybe it had a little bit more. Um, anytime you can find like brand name things, um, I always grab them and the equal was something that I grabbed because um, even though I know it's not ideal for you, I um, I do like to have it in my coffee and I only use one packet. So um, I don't, and I don't do it every day actually either. I've been finding like, um, not milks and different things like that that I'm kind of liking a lot right now. So maybe eventually I'll stop using those altogether. Uh, this is a brand name, Grin. These are little dental flossers. I wanna throw these kind of in my um, in my bag for work. And um, just if I get ready to go see a client or something, I wanna be able to, you know, real quick. And um, I've also got those little tiny disposable, like single use kind of scope 
um, little brushy things. But uh, we're talking about a lot of dental hygiene today, right? But uh, these are cute because they're cute. They're double, so there's, uh, you can kind of see there, there's a double twine. And this Grin brand, I've seen at Target before. And um, it's not a dollar twenty-five. So if you can find those, get them. Uh, this I thought about using, and now I'm kind of like conflicted about it. I probably need to look up the research on it on DollarTree.com and see how many stars this has. But uh, I kind of want to cover up this gray a little bit. So I and it grows so fast. Believe me, if if it'll it'll grow out probably by the time I film my next video. But um, I want to try this, but I'm afraid because I know that with the Just For Men product, if you leave it on your face too long, it can actually stain your face. And I don't want to stain my face. These I am obsessed with. I could not believe, by the way, another receipt. This is my other receipt that I had. Um, this, I also spent $52. And um, that, again, scan those receipts into Fetch Rewards. You'll earn points every time you scan a receipt, and then eventually you can redeem those points for all kinds of gift cards. And uh, I do have a referral code down below, so if you want to check it out, go for it. But um, these I'm obsessed with. Um, have you seen these little flower vases at Dollar Tree? Now you're probably thinking, what? Because right now it's kind of awkward to see it. But um, I did open one up. I bought four of these, and I bought four of them because... I'm thinking like, well, first of all, I have a rectangle or a, uh, I'm sorry, I have an octagon dining room table. And um, I was thinking that if I put, you know, two and then two in front of it, then I could kind of have something along the center. I have one of these that's really long that I got from, I think I got it from Timu actually. And uh, it works great, but it's just too long sometimes. And honestly, I was thinking like, I could even separate these, put them like on the mantle or something. But what you do is this slides out. You put water in there or you can put beads or you can put a combo of everything in there. And then this just kind of slides back into place. And then you can put your fresh flowers in there. What a cool concept, right? And uh, again, I bought four of these because my thoughts are, I'll do like two. Let's see if I can do this without dropping them. And then I'll do another one, and then I'll do another one, and then they can sit in the middle of my octagon-shaped table, and um, I'm gonna have some flowers. Or I could separate them, and like you could put, I don't know, a couple of these like on the back of a toilet, or I don't know why you do that, but I guess you could. Um, I can put them on a, on a side table on a, uh, on a dresser, I like to go to like Trader Joe's and I like to get their flowers there. And I like to buy those big bundles that are on sale. And um, that could be perfect for it because then you can split up the arrangement and you don't need to do a lot of, um, you know, you don't have to spend a lot of money. Um, these are actually for my sister, but I wanted to show them to you. They are a set of four little glass votive holders. And my, my niece is getting married next year in November, or I guess November 2025, 20, 24. And uh, yeah, this year, or maybe is it, she's getting married. And uh, my sister is doing all the decorating for the wedding. Um, my niece lives in South Carolina, so my sister's gonna be there because she lives in South Carolina too. And because my sister is decorating, she wants these for the table. So she asked me to be on the lookout for them. And uh, I found them. I only grabbed four, but um, only, I know. Um, but they are for my sister. And uh, I'm going to go home and see my dad for Father's Day. And um, I want, I'll want i bring them down to her then. I texted, I texted her and let her know that they were coming. So um, she doesn't go out and buy extras. Look at the little disco ball. I love it. Look, I love it so, so much. Um, this was in like the party section and uh, $1.25. I have no idea where I'm gonna put it, but look at the sparkle. Look how pretty it is. And uh, I have a disco ball planter actually outside on my front porch. And um, maybe I'll go and get, I'll try and get a couple of them and like hang them on I don't know, from like fishing line or something from the ceiling around the disco ball, make like a whole 
nightclub on my front porch? I don't know. Um, these little baskets, we've seen these kind of baskets at Dollar Tree before, but they've introduced kind of some new colors. I love this short and squatty one that's kind of perfect for like a dresser to put like rings and stuff in. <laughs> this band-aid I thought was a ring. It felt like a ring. But um, super, super cute to be able to drop, you know, your jewelry or things at the end of the night. You could even put this in the bathroom or something. And then this one I thought was really cute too. I love the pattern on that one. But I also really like this because uh, I was thinking maybe a plant could work in here. Uh, I, it would be have to be a plant that, you know, didn't drain. So you'd have to be careful with it because I wouldn't want to mess this up. But um, why couldn't you do that? And you could definitely put a faux plant in it. Um, as a matter of fact, where is... I have a faux plant, but I can't really reach it because it's over there. But... Um, you know what? I'm going to grab it. I'm back. I've got the faux plant. Um, didn't, didn't quite give me the reaction that I was looking for. However, it's not bad. Um, it's just a little plant. I got this at Ikea like years ago. I've had this forever, but um, it's really not bad in there either. And, um, you know, if you play around with it and if it's like up on a bookshelf or something, then that could be... Let's see if I can do this without breaking it. That could actually be really cute, right? Such a fun way to display kind of some fun things. Um, all right, these I saw somebody haul, and um, I can't remember who it is because I watch a lot of hauls. I think it was actually Vivian. Vivian tries. And um, these balloons are crazy. They get really, really big. But what's so cool about them is that, see that? that nozzle like that's where you blow you know blow the balloons up but um that is designed to be able to stretch it out and then you can put like stuffed animals and like large things inside the balloon and then finish and then blow it up and tie it off and you've got like your stuffed animal sealed inside of a balloon I was thinking for a housewarming gift or for a, um, I don't think it'd probably be too heavy, but I was almost thinking like stuff it with a bunch of like candy or something and not a pinata, but I guess it kind of could be. Well, it wouldn't really be a pinata, but because you could see everything that's in there. But um, really fun possibilities, right? You can, uh, you can see that my mind's already thinking about all the different ones. Um, also, remember, let me know if your store has scrolled along the bottom. And uh, I will kind of continue to loop it. That way you do see if you miss it the first time. Um, look at this new mirror. I'm going to try not to blind everybody. But isn't that cute? It's kind of got, you can see, kind of like a, you know, a little bit of an age kind of look to it. But um, they also had that in black and that was a dollar 25. That's a great size mirror for a dollar 25. How cool, I only bought one of them, but how cool would it be if you were to put like another one this way and maybe another one that way and another one that way? You could really create a really cool kind of wall decor with that. Um, here's the other diamond painting. Um, my mom had mentioned uh, some of these. I think I have a cousin that likes to do these or something. And um, that one I thought was really pretty. So, um, I don't know, maybe if I'm bored, all the all the diamonds are in there. Uh, that little uh, kind of uh, tray that I bought too could be perfect for storing these because I don't know if I'll finish it once I start it. Uh, this I thought was really, really sweet. I just thought the sign was really, really cute. They had them in a couple different varieties. But um, I love the beaded touch there at the top. I love the twine. I also loved the saying at the bottom, the be blessed. I just thought it was really, really pretty. And I do have a DIY in mind for this. So um, I only bought one because I'm trying to empty out those bins that I have behind me and not, um, not fill them up with random stuff anymore. Speaking of more random stuff to fill in the bins, I also bought these little boxes. How cute is that? How cute is that for like painting those up and for putting plants or something in them like those faux plants? I love that one. Um, I don't know if that would even work. It wouldn't work for this one, but you kind of get the idea, right? It could be, do it like that. But I mean, it could be fun and they kind of have like a really cool, almost like a kind of a mid-century modern look or something. And like you could paint 
the lines and then paint this whole thing. I just think it could be really, really cu cute. I can't talk today. And uh, maybe you could fill it in with like paint pens or something like that. Super, super cute. And then um, I grabbed these because I love these pillar candles, especially this fresh linen scent. Um, I guess you could do that, but you burn your house down. Don't, don't do that. Um, that would not be nice. But uh, this friend, this stuff, uh, kind of fresh linen scent, I really do like this. And I like this size candles as well. So super good. And then this is the last thing I bought. And I was shocked that I found this at Dollar Tree because it is huge. Look at this giant windshield washer fluid. Now, I think it was $1.25. I may be wrong, but let me see because I bought it. And then I meant to look at it when they were scanning everything. And um, this is the receipt. Yes, it was $1.25. It was $1.25. Here it is right there. Windshield washer. No, you can't see it, but you can see everything on that side. It's $1.25. But look how much is in there. And my car right now is completely out of windshield washer fluid because of um, all the pollen around. So I'm uh, going to be... Um, using that. I probably should have bought two of them because that's such a good deal for $1.25. Um, all right, you guys, that is everything for this haul. Let me know in the comments below if um, any of your stores are going to be affected. I feel better that there's less Dollar Tree stores that are closing versus the family dollar stores. But um, obviously, you know, a lot of things are changing and we don't know kind of what, um, if there's going to be even more stores closing or not. But uh Hopefully, I can still bring you lots and lots of hauls and that my favorite store, fingers crossed, is not closing because that um, I have a couple of favorite stores in the area that, um, and I love the people because I've got to know a lot of the employees as well. All right, you guys, uh, there is an article linked down below as well. The uh, It's a CBS article that um, kind of mentions what Dollar Tree Family Dollar is going through right now, and it does list out the stores. So if you didn't catch them on the scroll, then you can also reference that link down in the description box, and that will also give you an idea of um, what stores are closing. Again, they've released a partial list, so there will be more announcements coming soon. All right, you guys, until next time, I will chat with you later. All right, bye-bye.